oil, and it's a top dollar play. Line up an FPSO and let's start pumping money. Gas. Well, of course there's gas. There's always associated gas. Let it flow and flare the gas off. Yes, it's a new field. Legislation. No flaring at all. Okay, we'll re-inject it. Maintains the pressure. All good. Could damage the reservoir. Acid gas. Fragmentation. Gas breaking through. Oh, perhaps not. We'll pipe it to shore and sell it. I know we won't get much for it, and it's a headache to do, but... Not enough gas. A thousand scuffs per barrel. How much? For a bit of pipeline? Underwater mountains the size of Everest. Do you know what? I don't think this one's going to work. If it was liquid, life would be so much easier, but GTL plants are the size of Madagascar and twice as far away. Imagine if you could shrink a GTL plant, then you could take it to the well. Just small enough to fit an FPSO or be constructed on an onshore site. I mean, if you can do this in the ocean, how hard would it be in a desert? Just something for the low GOR fields, say 50 million scuffs a day? And imagine if you could convert the gas into synthetic crude oil on site and mix it with the natural crude. Boost production by a bit, but oh, that'd just be a bonus. Oh yeah, with the gas dealt with. Just imagine the millions of barrels of oil we could produce then. Maybe one day. Maybe today. Compact GTL, a modular gas solution that turns reliability into real economic value.